There's a true responsibility working at Mac because it really is a brand that changed and shaped the beauty landscape. Whether it's in front of the camera through models or talent or celebrities, or whether it's behind the camera in the storytellers, the choreographers, the directors, we really work with the most amazing set of artists to bring our brand to life in a way that reflects our customer. The first thing to know about Mac is the founders were very visionary. So they actually founded this brand with the idea to support and to champion all ages, all races, all genders from day one. We want everybody to feel that they belong here. Mac is all ages, all races, all genders, and we live it every single day. So whether that's you know our artists in store or whether it's our talent, it's truly representing the culture that we we cater to and the queer community is a big piece to that. So, you know, whether it's the trans community, the queer community, it's really building not only products but also representation. So, in our advertising, you will see all different faces because we want to welcome everyone to the Mac brand. Well, founder Frank and Frank were very involved in their community in Toronto. And uh, when I met and discussed with uh, Frank Toscan, it, it was very clear that communities today, still today, is very important to him. And it was always important to him. And at that time, uh, when he created Mac, he realized that there was a lot of members of the community he cared for that were actually not serviced by the industry. And so I think that was one of the founding principles of Mac, is to make sure that we are serving every part and every community everywhere in the world. I think later he saw the impact of HIV AIDS with his community and that was the birth of Viva Glam. Viva Glam was created in 94. And it was created by Frank and Frank uh, at the time where uh, HIV AIDS were affecting their communities. Our founders came up with this brilliant idea, very simple. It was to use everybody's lips to support the cause. So they came up with the idea of selling a Viva Glam lipstick and to give back 100% of the selling price to support people living with HIV AIDS. The Viva Glam program, to me, means life. So many of my colleagues back in the 90s, colleagues, friends, family, aren't here. They didn't make it. So Viva Glam was a lifeline for so many of those people when they didn't have a voice. So I hold Viva Glam near and dear to my heart. And so part of what we are doing now is expanding the role of Viva Glam to make sure that a part of our communities that are today their right being suppressed or that are not served the same way or, or, or supported the same way are not supported. So we are talking about equality of sexuality, equality of gender, uh, or racial equality, to give three examples. Over time, Viva Glam came from this one initiative at one time to, to service their community to become a worldwide program that have now raised $520 million over 30 years, which is absolutely remarkable. Today, Viva Glam seals support and affect the life of 90 million people every year around the globe. Back to Mac again was founded by your founder, Frank and Frank. It's a 33 years old program which is their idea right at the beginning was to like uh, drive my business in a healthy planet and to make sure that your packaging could be recycled. And so they developed a black sturdy packaging of, with plastic that could be broke in pieces and reassemble to create new products, new black packaging for Mac. Most people don't know this, but you can't recycle a lot of those small pieces. So 
Mac made it impossible that you could bring it back and take care of all of those in the most responsible way. Not only are we working on it from a bring back perspective, but also in the creation of our products. So whether it's introducing PCR, recycled materials, we're just doing as much as we can to have as little impact on the planet as possible. Back to Mac was groundbreaking. Who was recycling back then? Not New York City, no, not many people were, right? But Mac was, before recycling even really mattered, they realized that we can give back in more ways. You know, we can collect these containers and recycle them into other products, recycle them into compacts, park benches, everything, just Mac realized the power of not wasting, not being wasteful and giving back to your community. Knowing that they were doing something good felt good to them, but as an employee on the other side, I felt good too because we both felt like we were helping the environment. Little did we know back then how important helping the environment was, but Mac did. Mac is uh, turning 40, which is amazing. I think part of the reason we are still being the number one makeup brand in the planet is that the roots of the brand, which are caring for the community, is so avant-garde. And I think the, the, the third secret of the brand is that it's a creative-led organization. So the creative, the makeup artists are at the decision table and they are taking the decision for the company. And that's very, very unique in any type of businesses. If I think about Mac of the future, it looks quite like how it started. It reflects the people that it serves and continues to help you be the best you can, both as a citizen, from sustainability to give back, to also creating that look that makes you feel confident and excited. Mac is turning 40 next year. And by the way, you look great, Mac. Part of what's kept Mac relevant for so many years is knowing their consumer, being in touch with the community, with global communities, but also local communities, right? Having a great product, having impeccable and amazing, amazingly talented artists. You know, they're not salespeople. Mac never really hired salespeople. Other brands did. We hired artists that would help to now co-collaborate looks with consumers, and that's what we do today. And I feel like that's something that's kept Mac relevant from the very beginning up until today, and I think that is the future. That's the future of Mac, continuing its legacy with Viva Glam, continuing its legacy with having superior products like the Hyperreal Skincare, Studio Fix, which is a classic, iconic product from Mac. That's going to continue. When we look for the future, I think what, one thing we want to make sure is Mac stays Mac. And so we are uh, spending a lot of time and effort to make sure that as we are increasing our number of artists all over the world and we are going to new country, that everyone understands what Mac stands for. Mac needs to be the brand that is there to improve everybody's life. So we dealt with HIV AIDS we also dealt with COVID and we gave back during COVID. We continue to give back to improve equality and the future for everybody, all ages, all races, all genders. As long as this lasts, whatever form this will take. A business with a purpose, a product with a purpose, artist with a purpose, just really wanting to do a great job uh, being creative and also helping the community in return. <laughs>